And hello my angelites. This is Angel Terry here with some more tutorial for Anarchy Online. You may hear my sister yelling in the background because her cat is eating her while she's trying to give her a treat. So, a few things I want to go over before we get into the main tutorial here. First off, I'm over my COVID, yay! But I still got something going on, so <coughs> I apologize if you may have a little trouble understanding me because I've got a lot of uh, soreness in my chest and my uh, voice isn't too good and there'll probably be a lot of pausing if I decided to go into a coughing fit. <laughs> but otherwise than that, uh, we've gone over in the past videos you know, how to install a game, how to, how to install the game, how to create a character, how to set up your, your, your UI, and today we're going to start going through the Arit Landing tutorial. Now, there's a, excuse you sir, there's a few things, let me just get out of the way here, so, there's a few things to go over before we start. Number one, if anybody is curious on what the previous tutorial was, I'll put a link in the video. Um, it was the, if I recall, it was something called the ICC shuttle port or the ICC island. Many people, m many older players like myself who had played it before really enjoyed that tutorial. We're not sure why they changed it, however they did, but you can at least see on a wiki on uh, what it entailed. Secondly, when it comes to this tutorial, there's three things I want to cover. Number one, main quests, secondly, side quests, and thirdly, the uh, steps you can do to get off of the tutorial quickly. Now, I want to wait to do that part till the end of this tutorial because I really feel that if you are a completely new player, you want to go through this tutorial because not only will you understand a lot of the game, how things work, but you'll also get some items, uh, you can join a clan. Uh, sorry about that, I had a little uh, pause there, but yes, yeah, so you could, um, yeah, you know, you can join a uh, faction. Uh, you can find ways to upgrade your weapons you start with. So there's quite a number of things you could do in the tutorial. Um, I mean, of course, it's your choice if you want to leave, as it'll take you right into, I believe it's called Andromeda, and you start in the ICC uh, area, and of course there's a place called a subway nearby where you can fight, so you'll still have stuff to do, but you just won't have like that knowledge, I guess you want to call it. So, third, I'm going to put the link to my Arete Landing Guide here on the screen, but also in the, the top light of my description for this video and any other videos if I have to break this apart, because this is going to be a while. I'm going to be hopefully doing about maybe 20, 25 minutes. I'm going to try to break it up a bit because uh, it's a lot of information. And of course, you can pause the video at any time, you know, go through the quest you need to do and then come back. But also so you can follow along with my guide and I'm going to do my best to follow it to the letter in the sense that you know like okay we're going through the main stories you could go boom 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 and then you know you go through that way uh, let's see anything else I don't think so so before we begin let's make sure we have a weapon on and make sure you got your UI set up I have it this way I would normally put this over here but since there's the bars here that you can't move um, I moved the bar over here. I have my run and walk and my sit and stand toggle, as long as the follow button and the exit button over on the side here. Um, I have some of my combat stuff on this bar. My one nano here, the iron fist buff. Do I have that on me right now? No. I don't think I do. Let's see, nano, no. Oh, I gotta check my target first. All right, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I know I got that on. Also, to do real quick, I had found out how you can move these. Apparently, you just right click on the name. You don't, uh, if you right click on the, excuse me, 
I don't need help from a GM. If you right click on the name, it'll quote unquote pop out the window and then you can move it. So you don't have to like hold and drag, you could just click, right click and then move it. All right, so our first mission will be Rex Larson, who is the gentleman that is down here. Now, before we talk to him, you will notice this little spinning question mark with a shift and click. On the tutorial island, you'll find a lot of these. If you shift and click, it will give you a description about what you're pretty much going to be learning uh, as you go along, either through the MPC or just in general. Now, this one talks about missions. Um, I'll just go over this one, but I won't be clicking the other ones, so you could do that as you play in case you need more information. So essentially it's saying control plus four by default will be your mission window from here. It is possible to right click and accept a mission and perform an action on it. Look at mission, delete mission, upload to map and update team members. Not all missions will have all these actions. Look at mission opens a window to provide the mission description. Upload to map will place a waypoint on the planet map P by default. Local map control plus six by default and the compass. Only one mission can be uploaded at a time. Update team members will provide team members with details on the mission. Note this is only for team missions. Delete mission will delete the mission if possible. Okay, so it's just giving you the different things you can do uh, with your mission bar up here. So we're going to come up to Rex. We're going to right click him to talk to him. So this here, come here you, is the NPC window. So you have up here, you have any of the text when you're talking to the NPC. This window is your replies. And down here we have four buttons. We have request NPC description. No idea what that does. We have request NPC info. You can click on that and you can find information about the NPC. Give items will come up. Uh, there'll be some missions where you need to give the NPC an item that is in your inventory. And a shop comes up if there's any NPCs that you can buy things from. Okay, pretty simple. So Rex Larson goes, hi, I'm Rex. Nice moves. I'm impressed. It's, it is not easy hiding in a cargo ship. Say, how'd you do it? Well, I don't really feel like telling you any of my secrets. If you'll excuse me, I need to go now. Well, you have it all figured out, don't you? I bet you forgot that you need an ID card to enter ICC. I don't even need glasses to notice that you don't have anything of value. Rex lowers his voice. You know, I arrived here the same way as you just did. I might know a guy that can help you out. I got a fake ID myself. Yeah, well, who says I don't have any ID, hmm? Even though it looks like I don't have any pockets anywhere. All right there, boss, say what you want. Just know that if you don't have any form of identification, your options are limited. You can either take a quick stroll or you could get my help getting an ID. If you start helping me out here instead of denying facts, mm -hmm. uh, we'll get to the point, Rex. You see these cleaning robots? They are old, stupid, and broken now. That's rude. I need you to terminate them and open the cargo box with the new ones so they can start cleaning up this place. It looks messy here, don't you agree? Okay, so I'll do it if you promise to tell me who your contact is. All right, so first off, you'll get a, um, a tip window here. Essentially, when you go through the second, it'll say pretty much exactly uh, what the shift plus click told you. Uh, the one thing it missed is the direction of your mission that you have chosen, it shows a yellow marker on your compass, which we'll see soon enough. All right. P uh, if the yellow marker is visible on your compass, search the smaller map window for the X that marks the mission's location. Okay. So we could close that. Mm, excellent choice. I will tell you what you need to know when you have completed the task. All right. Later, Tater. <laughs> he sighs, shaking his head. How do so many people keep ending up in these cargo shuttles? Well, maybe because there's a lot of open boxes. Okay. So now that we have our mission, we can look over the mission window. First off, we have this little button here. If you click that, we can learn a bit more about our mission we need to do. So... So it's terminate five malfunctioning cleaning robots. Identity crisis. In order to leave a re landing and become a citizen of Ruby Ka, you need an identity. Your mission is to create a fake ID card so you can leave this place. Rex Larson considers himself too lazy to clean up his cleaning business. <laughs> Since you need his help, he wanted a favor in return. You have to terminate five of his malfunctioning cleaning robots, then open the package with brand new cleaning robots and set them to work. 
Okay. So I'll tell you mission objective. Uh, if there's any rewards, and I'll tell you what anything there. And then, can I move this? Uh, not really, because I don't want to make it too big. And then if there was a timer, it would say there. So what we're going to do, we need to go find ourselves some robots to punch. That one exploded, so we're not getting that one. All right. Boom, and it's dead. So when we check our chat window here, it'll tell us you have to kill four more malfunctioning, and then it'll tell us the experience we get. Um, when you loot, if you hover over the carcass, so to speak, you'll see a gear. If you right click, and then it'll bring up a little window if there's anything on it. Now, give me one second. I think my mouse is moving a little too fast. Uh, can I control that? No. Okay. Um, so, I apologize if it looks like it's swinging around really a lot. I don't think I can fix, fix how quickly it swings, and I don't want anybody to really get sick, so. Get this guy here. Whoa! Where'd he go? Yeah, you'll get lag and stuff. It's crazy here. Now, I don't know why it constantly keeps telling me about the defense slider. I have it set to aggressive and I don't want to change that. You can see my bars up here moving up and down with the different levels of the attacks I have. There we go. Finally hit the damn thing. Jeebus. I'm not allowed to relute those remains. Even... When I'm falling? What? How am I falling? There we go. That was weird. I was stuck in a combat glitch or something. <sighs> weird. It seems like after I keep attacking, it keeps thinking I'm falling. Okay, what is this? Microscopic pulsating nanocrystals. Okay, so this is used for something. Um... You're going to left click in order to pick up the item. There are quite a number of doodads you can get in this game from when you kill creatures. Some start uh, side quests. Oh, some start side quests, some are used to make other things, etc. So your best bet, hold on to everything you find and then when you get a moment you can open up the uh, and I online wiki and look. Why am I stuck in combat stance? That's weird. Uh, open my, uh, why is it? All right, we do not show that tip again. Okay, so if you read the tip and you understand it, you can click on do not show this tip again. I don't know why I'm still stuck in combat stance. Anyway, so now we need to open up this crate. So if you look on the compass here, you have this little tiny yellow dot. So I'm gonna right click that. Why I am stuck attacking? Let me see if I can get it to stop. That's myself, dumbass. Let's see. Let's see if I attack another robot here if it'll stop. There we go. Come on. Give me the dead robot. Oh, okay. So we have a piece of armor here, so this is good. We're gonna look at this so we can see the stats. So there's different types of armor. There's one that's more tech and there's one that's more um, quote, like nano based in it, which meaning the requirements will change to something I believe is intelligence or, psych or uh, psycho. I think it is called psychic psycho. So uh, get the gear that matches uh, in the beginning what your stats are um so you don't end up putting stats in something you actually don't need stats in let's put it that way all right so we're going to return to rex well, how'd it go i've done what you asked can you tell me who your contact is i've had my fun watching you do my job you didn't actually believe that i got a fake id from someone here did you the only person i know around here is marcus stone well you could try asking him 
Oh man, I can see why you don't have too many friends. Off you go. I need to relax now. It has been a long day at work. Well, isn't he a piece of crap? He made us do his dirty work. Whew. Sorry, itch. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, swing the guide up here a little bit. And we're going to be going to Marcus Stone, who is down down here setting well not setting fires but turning off fires all right hey marcus as you might have noticed i'm a little busy at the moment well actually rex says you could help me i seem to have misplaced my identity card yeah i left it on my uh, bureau <laughs> well now sounds like you got a problem i'm not going to say i can't help you but well excuse me as you'll find out soon enough everyone on ruby con needs something so let me guess you need some help with the fire a little smirk crosses his lips as he nods his approval. Yeah, now you're catching on. As you have already noticed, a few small fires have erupted up on this landing platform. The appropriate authorities are on their way to deal with the wounded and property damage, but if you wouldn't mind helping me with a few of these fires, it would be appreciated. You do that, I'll see if I can't help you out with your little uh, identity issue. All right, and off you go. Okay. So, here we're going to learn about using items on other things. So, did you give me it? Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, I didn't see it at first. So this here, which was funny because, uh, I forget who said it on the Nathan Napalm stream, but one of them like, oh, that's what it is. It looks like a bottle of lotion. Uh, okay, so it's a compact fire suppressant container. Uh, it's a small canister with a pointed directional nozzle on top. I still think nozzle is spelled wrong. I don't know. Applying variable pressure from the top causes the device to fire a deceptively powerful stream of a foul smelling clear liquid. Aim directly at the source of flame and fire liquid until all traces have been extinguished. So to use it, we're going to left click it so it pops up on our cursor and then we're going to left click on the fire. Now, it could be a little fiddly if you don't get it in the right spot it'll keep coming up saying oh do you want to drop this on the ground or whatever so just kind of make sure you get in the right spot so once we did that we're going to talk to marcus again okay and when he's in the middle of doing that animation you can't talk to him come on i'd like to help you out here if you would stop freaking doing that <laughs> gotta wait a minute you only have to put out one fire. There we go. All right, so we have to make sure he's in the resting position. All right, you did a pretty good job there. Well, thanks. Hand me the compact fire suppressant container, please. Okay, so this was window that comes up when you're going to give an item, or if you give credits, you would click there, and then I believe you type in the amount of credits. But we're going to give him that. Hit the check mark. And we leveled, yes. You do a backflip every time you level. Pretty baller, huh? All right. And good to my word, reaching into a small pouch by his side, he produces a thin, flat, metallic disc, barely larger than a fingernail. There. That's a generic nanotransmitter. Pretty standard equipment for, well, most everything. Same gizmo that lets you see things like data and information via your NCU's head-up display. Most of them are already programmed with something or another. Manufacturer's information, warning notes, care and use, etc., feeding, or whatever of whatever it is you're looking at. Typically, blank ones aren't issued to the public, supposed to make them hard to fake. Now you go talk to Flint Novak. He runs the junkyard. Just to head on down for the bottom of the ramp and look for a little shack. Can't miss it. Well, thanks again. Now there actually is some other things we can talk to him about. <clears throat> well, who are you? Marcus Stone, I mostly oversee the unloading of cargo that finds its way up here on this little orange rock we call home. I don't know where all of you are coming from, but there's sure been a lot of folks walking out of these freighters. <laughs> where am I? Where are you? Are you being serious? You're on the planet Rubika. She may not look like much, but deep down she's full of some precious materials that people are killing to get. Literally. Right now we're on the primary ICC shuttle port on the planet, right next to their main establishment. Assuming you have a valid ID card, that's where you're going to want to head. After you're in there and done with all the processing, you'll be able to go, well, wherever you'd like to go, I guess. Are these wounded workers your guys? 
They are. So, if you're not in a hurry, would you mind saving at least one of them? I'll reward you with some equipment to patch yourself up when you'll get hurt. I'll do it. Just tell me how. Take this health regeneration stem and use it on one of my wounded workers. Okay. I put this as part of the main quest, but it's technically a side quest. I think when this has a little square around it, it might be a main thing, but either way. <clears throat> now this item we're gonna use a little bit differently. This this item is used as if you were gonna use one of your uh, health packs or stem, or have your health packs. So you're gonna click on the dock worker, and then you're gonna right click the health regeneration stem that they get, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Marcus gave you. Thank you for saving me. You are quite welcome. All right, so we'll finish this up and then we'll go over our leveling. My camera's all goofy. All right, here we go. Oh, now we gotta wait for him to stop shooting fire again. Or not shooting fire, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? <coughs> you know, it's funny how the back of his pants look like he looks like he pooped himself. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. You know, you're probably not hitting the fire from back here, I just want to say. You could probably hit the ones that are on here. There we go. What? <laughs> I healed one of your workers with the health regeneration stem. Great, hand me the stem. Ew, don't reuse stems. Thank you for saving one of my workers. Here, take this first aid equipment to heal yourself when you need it. Oh, you're welcome. Good luck out there, kid. Okay, so he gave us more of the Health and Nano Recharger, which we can pick up and drop on here. I think, oh, one moment. I believe each one stacks to a certain uh, level. Let me see something. Does it say stackable? Okay, so I think this stacks to 100, and this stacks to 50. Okay, so if we get any more, it will be on a separate uh, stack. So I need to pause right here, folks. I need to go get my laundry and I'll be right back. Okay, isn't it awesome when you go to uh, do your laundry but to forget to check everybody's pockets so there's a tissue in there and it explodes all over in your washing machine. Anyway, because <laughs> that's just what happens. I gotta remember to check that. So I'm gonna end this video here talking about leveling because it'll be a little bit to explain this. Can you? All right, so, let's close these windows here. So this little button that comes up looks like a graduation cap with a plus sign. Now, you start out with 1,500 IP points when you create your character. Um, you, of course, have a choice to start putting points in then, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted to go over everything at our first level, so it's simpler for me to remember what I'm talking about. Okay, so we touched on this a bit, but the skill system, uh, your skills define what you can do and how good you are at it. Items have skill requirements for using and or equipping them. Nano programs have skill requirements for uploading and executing them. At each level, your character is awarded a certain amount of improvement points. These IPs allow you to raise the skills that in turn allow you to use better weapons, armor, nano programs, and other general equipment. It is not possible to maximize all the skills as you are not awarded enough IPs to do so. Therefore, you have to concentrate on the areas of most use to your character. Uh, it's good to keep that in, in mind because I believe it was, talk, it was on the GUI guide or another guide I read, but when you level, the cost of each skill is dependent on not only the breed you chose, but the profession you chose, okay? <clears throat> if you are new to Anarchy Online, we suggest you use the suggested IP distribution option to allocate your skills. This option will be available to you until level 20, okay, which is this up here. If you click on that, It'll say the automatic IP distribution has now completed. You are welcome to do adjustments to the setup to better fix your wishes. If you have, you have to save changes before exiting this window to keep it. So this is what they gave me, but I don't want that right now. But yeah, so you could do that. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you're not really sure, you could do this suggested I distribution. Uh, let me try to sentence again. 
you can choose to suggested IP distribution to kind of see where maybe you want to put your skill points with what you have. Uh, I'm going to close that so we don't save that. And then what was the, the I can't even remember anymore. <laughs> I did the video and I don't even remember what the stupid thing is. All right. So our first tab is abilities. So from what I can tell, the light green of sense and agility is lit up because that is what I'm good at as an om omnifex, opifex, excuse me. Uh, my stamina is in a darker color because I believe that's what I have a low amount of as an opifex, and the other ones are, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, kind of a light blue. Um, as I stated in my last video, there is no color blind mode that I could find anything in this game, at least in the form even of um, add-ons. I'll look again to see if maybe they have an add-on to help, so you may need to do a little bit more research on the stats for you to use for your profession. But let's click on strength, for example. So it tells us what our base skill is, our buff skill, maximum skill allowed. Uh, I believe that is you can only every level you can only raise your skill a certain up to a certain amount so right now if I'm right if I put my points in I can only go up to nine and I can't put any more points in there okay current improvement zero but it, this one will cost me six of my IP to level it so if you look up in the corner here if I go to three to four I'm minus six points okay got to keep that in mind Total cost, I think it'll tell me how total, like how many points I spent. So let's see, strength is one of your primary attributes. Now that talks about the primary attributes for the profession you chose. Your primary attributes affect your other skills. The higher your primary attribute, the more benefit you will get in skills that you strength as a dependency. So that's one thing you need to look at. So for me, I'm gonna put my points in strength here Stamina, uh, wait, no, one of your primary, wait, wait a minute, oh, okay, it says that for everything, excuse me, I, okay. I uh, was misinformed, it, just a primary attribute means it's one of your main stats, my bad, um, so your stats are strength, stamina, sense, agility, intelligence, and psychic, I believe intelligence and psychic is more if you're gonna be oh, casting okay. nanos. Uh, sense and agility for like speedy and strength and stamina for more like tanky. Uh, I could be wrong, sometimes you could do a mix. I'm probably wrong with a lot of things, folks. <laughs> That's just how it is. We're learning as we go, but I'm trying to do my best to remember. If anything comes up that I realized that I, I miss information when I did this recording, you'll see my uh, updated information in a uh, annotation on the video. So we're not going to touch any of those until we understand what we're going to be picking for our other skills because say for example we picked body development. Let's see body development to find your health or hit points exclusive. Okay so here we go it is exclusively dependent on stamina. Okay so that tells you what this is dependent on. So if we do evade close combat and martial art this tells you it's 50% uh, dependent on agility, 30% sense, and 20% intelligence. Okay. Uh, actually, before we continue, what is raising my nano pool? Is that something I'm wearing? Yes, Liz. Nano, nano pool. Yes, okay. Uh, what I want to do real quick is take off this. Oops. So I have the stats correct while we level. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have that. We have for melee weapons. For us specifically, for martial arts, is the main unarmed combat skill. Increasing this allows you to not only hit more often would do extra damage per hit. It is 50% dependent on agility, 20% on strength, and 30% on psychic. So 
We want to raise the martial arts and we want to put points in our agility, strength, let's see, strength, agility, what does psychic do? I have no clue, but it also said psychic, so we're going to put points in that. All right. Um, the other thing is physical prowess in martial arts. So this is used to increase the speed of your martial arts. So this is dependent on 60% sense, 20% psychic, 10... Oh my god, that's a lot. Because some people will say, oh, you might as well just uh, always bring up your abilities. And I've done that too. You just have to understand these... The darker blue colors will use more points. All right, so let's do that. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, because remember, we're, we don't use the melee weapons in a sense of it's having a melee initiative. Ours is all martial arts. Now, <coughs> excuse me. When it comes to melee specials, um, most of the time people be like, oh, you should really only level those if that is on like a weapon or something you're trying to use. Now, I am <laughs> going to raise brawling. Note that brawl also enabled inherently when using no weapons, hand to hand combat, because I have a thing for Dymok and Brawl. What is that? Uh, how are you just gonna. It's also enabled inherently when using no. Okay, so I'm actually going to raise those because I, uh, I have them here. I can actually use them as well. It's a soul attack. Repost is used to equip some martial arts special attacks and some special devices. Since it's specifically for martial arts, I'm going to raise that, okay? Uh, I'm not going to touch sneak attack or fast attack unless I have a weapon that uses it. Now, I do have a bow. I'm going to raise the bow, but I'm not going to touch to things like a ranged initiative or anything like that. At least I don't think I want to. Let me see. Where is... All right, so initial. All right, so actually, I do need to up that, so I could do faster with that. Um, all right, so we don't need anything else. Range specials. Even though this has this is fling shot. Fling skills to equip weapon. The higher your skill in fling shot, the more effective these special attacks. You know, since that bow has it, I'm going to put that in there. Normally I wouldn't, but that's got there. Okay. Okay, where was I? Gotta love when you do something and you get pulled away. Okay, so nanos and casting. I normally don't touch these at all as a martial artist unless what I want to use says you need to have something. So we're going to leave that alone. Exploring. Um... This is where things like for vehicles are. Run speed, I actually would suggest you get. Because if I recall, you will get vehicles in the game, but it's way later and they're quite expensive. So you might as well run. What's adventuring? Adventuring enables a character to access different backpacks and some special items. Oh, okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Combat and healing. Uh, the same way with here when it comes with first aid. And treatment. Now, what was... All right, I have seven. That's fine. I need first aid at 11 to use these stim packs. So, you know, now I just forgot. Yeah, first aid from 11. Okay. Which also reminds me, I want to click on this and drag these down here. Okay, so, we, so we're gonna do first aid to 11. Trade and repair. The only thing, if you're not an engineer or a fixer, what's a fixer? No, a trader that does the crafting, is the most important thing for you is the computer, computer literacy because you need them in order to wear these belts and the other NCUs now. It'll probably take another level or two before I can get the right computer literacy. 
Uh, disable legacy. Oh, we don't have any of that. Okay, so when you're done, we're going to save the changes. Okay. So that's that. Now let me put this back on. And you do also, uh, if I bring this back up again, you do also get one reset to reset all your skills if you find out that you messed up. All right, so if you make a mistake or you're like, oh, I want to do something different, you can reset your skills. All right. Now I am curious on something here. When it comes to fling shot, do I get an actual... No, it must be like something special I could do with the bow, not like a, a, a button I hit or something. Um, actually, hang on a second. I just thought of something. All right, uh, we do need body development. The very close combat attacks is one used to determine if you are hit by certain types of weapons or attacks. All right, well, I want this up. Duck explosions. I mainly bring these up if I have the points. Yeah, because since I'm a melee, I'm not so much that nano pool. You're hit by certain types of weapons. And nano resist. Occasionally resist nano base. All right. So that's why, because I, I was just thinking of that. I don't do so much to nano pool because I really only have one uh, nano to use. Why is my hit points going? Oh, is my hit points going down? Oh no, I put that. That confuses me all the damn time. All right, folks. So I'm going to stop this video here. So you could spend your time setting up your uh, skill points because after everybody should have leveled. And when we get back, we will continue the tutorial. So this is Angel Terry. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.